channel so today I have this very uh, different look for you guys which I'm not usually used to doing a lot of you asked me to do a makeup look on the new makeup revolution flawless 3 palette yep the flawless 3 palette it's actually called the flawless 3 resurrection palette once I saw this on their website I actually saw it on their Instagram first and I literally went on online to just grab it straight away because look at it it literally I would even say it's kind of like the same tones of the, as the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette because you've got your reds and your pinks and then you've got I used a grey today all over my lid so I really played around with it I didn't know what I was going for I knew I wanted to use the grey because I never wear grey but just a quick review literally this palette is so good give it a 10 out of 10 the packaging is freaking amazing it's like this ow it's like this nice rose gold packaging that has my fingerprints all over it um it feels very sturdy i, I don't remember the price actually but i will link it in the, in the info box but it's affordable like all makeup revolution products it's just so pigmented like i'm just gonna swatch this for you guys that's a fair swatch that's you can't you can't you can't ignore that pigmentation you know as you can't tell obviously i'm obsessed with this palette i think it's so nice the fact that it's showing up on my skin tone and i feel like it could even show up on skin tones that are deeper than me um a lot of makeup revolutions pal makeup revolution palettes don't really show up on my skin tone so that's why i don't get it but it's not even there's just the pigmentation it's like the color choice i feel like they don't have a palette like this and it's just absolutely perfect it's so worth it i definitely recommend getting it um so yeah that's my review on it definitely a 10 out of 10 for me and i'm going to show you how to get this look right here i've used only that palette on the eyes and yeah so i hope you guys will enjoy this video and we'll jump straight into it and i've just realized this whole time i have yellow eyeliner in my hair so please ignore that I already have my brows done and right now i am trying to prime my lids i'm using the la girl pro concealer in medium beige to be honest like i just when i put this on my lids because i want this to be a drugstore look i want to put this on my lids i have done before but like right now it's not going like full on coverage the fuller coverage you concealer you have on your lid the better the eyeshadows will show up and the cleaner it looks the more intense it looks Just make sure that it's all smooth this is a real technique brush that i'm using and then this is the palette right here and i'm probably going to use like this pale eyeshadow color right here these eyeshadows are so pigmented it's just crazy but i just want this all like nice and set for like blending I've really really been enjoying like doing these like talk through makeup tutorials and I think that the reason why is because like I always watch like Crispy, Crispy, Dirty Perkins, Lust Deluxe um, and all those like beauty gurus like Manny and Mue and like Patrick Starr they all like talk through through their videos and I just find it more interesting rather than voiceovers and you guys seem to like it too so I'm really happy about that I'm just putting some this is like the best lip balm ever guys it's drugstore it's called la bello you can get it on amazon it's a french brand i believe but i checked and you can get it on amazon so yeah i'm just making sure like all this is set properly you really want to concentrate it all here as well that's the, all the that's where all the blending is going to be happening this is a Mange 501D brush, one of my favourite Amazon eBay brushes. It did come in a set, but I don't know if you can get it on its own. This colour right here first, as my transition colour. Look at that. Well, you can't see it much right now, but... So I'm really concentrating on the outer corner and the crease. And as I move up, I'm using much less pressure just to kind of like diffuse it. Please mind my eyebrows guys, like I really need to go buy some wax to get them done. So the thing that I really love about this um, this eyeshadow palette is like, it's. I feel like it's the only eyeshadow palette from Makeup Revolution where like there's like reds and like pinks and 
browns and I, a nice gold I feel like this color is this palette is perfect the only thing is I wish there was a black I feel like every eyeshadow palette should have a black but it does have a dark wear which I will be using and like I said this look is gonna be very different to what I usually do because I always do the same looks I want to change it up a bit for you guys and I really want to show you like the poten potential of this eyeshadow palette like this is just the transition color and it's showing up on my skin tone can always take the first brush that you use just to like blend the edges if you went too far up and now i'm going to take a smaller kind of brush i would say yeah i'm going to take this brush right here this is from an amazon set it is linked in the info box if you guys are interested all the amazon ebay brushes are linked in the info box and the reason why i link them and i don't specif specify them in like when i use them individually is because they don't have names or anything so it's really hard for me to say oh this is the 150 brush but they don't really have a name so i just link all the brush sets that i use in the info box if you guys are interested so anyways the next color i'm going to use is this color right here it's like a bright red bright rusty brick red i would say and then this is going to go right under the transition color. I mean, come on. Or what? Like, guys, that is so... I didn't even put that much. That's so pigmented. So I'm going all the way around. And again, like, as I move into the transition color... You can always take the old brush that we used just to like diffuse those two together i'm going to take a really dense flat brush like this again it's the same set as the one i used just now so these come together i love this is one of my favorite amazon brush sets so if i can find it this is the one that i can't find and it was like three pounds for the set so it's so weird and i can't find it but now I'm going to take this grey, darkest colour in the palette, and really, really pack this on the lid. I never wear grey. I think it's going to look really cool. Just take your time with it, really take the time to pack that colour on. I mean, you... If you don't want to use a grey, you can definitely go with like a brown, like the brown that was in right next to that colour. I'm going to take some of the this pale colour right here. Guys, I need to do my nails, but like I said, I prefer to have bare nails than chipped nail polish nails. So I prefer it like this. Like, I'm just so busy with like revising, doing videos, cleaning my room, like working. I just don't have time to do little things like this when I'm busy. I'm just going to take that colour right there on a flat shader brush. This is this uh, Sigma E54 brush. Okay, so now I thought yellow eyeliner would look really good with this. So I'm going to use the NYX Vivid Bright in Vivid Halo. I'm just going to do a really, really thin line. I'm going to use the NYC liquid liner in black i believe this is discontinued now so i need to get a new liner i think i'm going to get the rimmel one because that's really good apparently so i'm going to do a really thin line just on top of the yellow okay so once you're done with the liner it kind of looks sick i think with the colors like the tones and everything i just put some mascara and i'm going to be using the classy lashes these are the new 3d silk ones so if you don't like mink lashes 
these are really good but they are cruelty free anyways they kind of like pick up like shedding from the floor during shedding season so that's what they kind of do um but if you guys prefer, don't like meat lashes these are silk ones and they're really really good and very lightweight do have a coupon code for you guys that will be in the info box as always um but yeah i'm gonna apply this off camera and i'm gonna use this revlon lash glue which is latex free the top bit of the eyes are done now i'm gonna go onto my skin quickly i'm gonna use the la girl pro coverage hd illuminating foundation this one's in the shade tan I normally use my beauty blender for this, but it's kind of dirty right now, so I'm just going to use this. I've realised that because this foundation is full coverage and so yellow, I don't really need the colour correct. These eyelashes are super dramatic, by the way, I think they're in, they're in Goddess. But I just love the way like they just make your eyes look so dull-eyed. I need to fix this bit here. I use the Sigma brush, this is the E06 brush, it's super precise and thin. A bit difficult, but... Fine, it doesn't need to be perfect because... You just see a bit of it and just the fact that you just see a nice line of yellow is really nice. Guys, this foundation is so good. If you haven't tried it, definitely recommend it. Wouldn't recommend it for oily skin though because it's very dewy. Okay, so now onto concealer. I'm going to mix the these two LA Girl concealers. This one's in Toffee. This is medium beige. I might just keep it with just a medium beige actually. Okay, so then I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Powder in Banana. Okay, I'm just going to... I haven't baked in a while, so I'm going to do that today. Around my mouth area. I'm just going to brush everything off. I forgot how baking was so nice. I haven't baked in a while. Oh my god, I'm like obsessing over this makeup look. Guys, look. I okay, so now I'm gonna grab the I'm gonna grab the red that we used in the crease, the second red. I'm so sorry about the noises. It's like whenever I film, there's always something that's gonna happen, like in terms of noise. When I do voiceovers, and if you live in the UK, like you know, your recycling guys when they recycle, did they do they as well? Like for you guys, do they throw your boxes like just so far away from your door, like they will just chuck it? And I sometimes I just stare at them, and literally, I look at them doing other people's recycling, and they just take the boxes and just fling them like across the street. And I'm just like, damn, like, can you just go and put it nicely where it was, like the way it is? I know their job is not that great, but I don't know, like they make such, it's like when they go by, like it's like a tornado came by because all the boxes are just everywhere. So I'm just taking the red as well and just smudging it on the outer corner where I've taken some. Okay, so now on to bronzer, I'm going to use the Sleek Contour Kit in Medium. Sounds so weird for me to say that because I used to always use this before. contour it's like the perfect contour colour whenever I bronze my face like my hairline I always like to do my hairline okay so I am now back from waiting 
for my camera to charge back on. So I've bronzed my face already. And now I'm going to go on to blusher. I'm going to use this NYX blush in Intuition. It's got a bit of a highlight to it. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, I did put like the crease colour that we used. Let me show it to you guys. I did use this colour right here to, I just smudged that underneath my lash line and then I went in back in with the grey, um, with the same brush and went straight really close to the lash line. I literally cannot do like a makeup look without putting mascara on my lower lashes. Just a little final touch to these dramatic eyes. I'm going to use, let's see what brush I'm going to take. Eek. This little brush right here, which is just from the same set that I used throughout this video really. I'm going to grab this colour right here. And I'm going to use this to just highlight that little inner corner. Oh, I've done my blush. Oh, now I want to highlight her. Today I'm going to use this new one that I got recently. It's a Makeup Obsession, which is another brand of Makeup Revolution. This is their highlight in gold. And you can actually pop the pans out of these and make your little own palette. You can buy the case and everything, which I might do actually. I haven't used this yet, so it's like my first time, but I freaking... <gasps> it's like the right amount of gold to not make it look like ashy or anything. I did contour my nose a bit. I don't know if you guys can tell. Okay, now onto the lips. I wanted to go super simple on the lips, so I'm going to use one of my favourite combinations. First, I'm going to use this LA Girl Endless Lip Liner in True Brown. The Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Nude Embrace. And the reason why I really like this combination is because it just makes your lips look so plump. That's the finished look guys. I am in love with the eyes. So not something that I would wear usually. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did by giving this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video and stopping by. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.